hello guys welcome back for another video here's some inspiration for homemaking cooking folding some laundry tips and many other things previously i talked about to upload twice a week but i have a better idea to simplify things i will post homemaking vlogs as i usually do on saturday mornings and instead of separating the two videos i will just smash them together so you will see the homemaking content first and then i will switch to the rest of the content i know you guys mostly here for homemaking but if you are interested my other topics stay until the end I noticed in the closet George drawer started to get messy so I need to organize that area but before I start to work on that I'm going to reset the sink in the kitchen Here are some tips how to make laundry a little bit more efficient. The concept to fill up the dishwasher makes people think they have to do the same with the washing machine, but they work very differently. Overloading the drum will reduce the lifetime of the washing machine, and if it's less water available for the detergent to dissolve in, the cleaning won't be effective. Having a designated area to fold will help me not to procrastinate and for that reason I love to use my ironing board because it's not slippery so it's easy to fold things on it and also I can adjust the height and I can fold anywhere I want. Sometimes I do it outside. <laughs> Folding the clothes while they are warm is definitely helping as well so I can avoid more wrinkles and I don't have to smoothen out that many of the clothes. I reduced all the clothing we had because same applies for the dishes. If we have 10 plates we will use 10 plates. If we have 4 plates we will use 4 plates. Same applies with the clothes. The more we have the more we are just mixed in to the dirty pile we will just change more often we will be less mindful about our clothing choices so once i reduced that amount that we had i was able to more stay on top of the laundry by doing a load or two a day and it's not overwhelming to fold or put them away so i'm going to start to work on george's side of this closet and he will decide for himself what he wants to get rid of he has some he has to let go of and i will organize the rest I can't help it, I can't help it. I, I'm craving some chocolate. So <laughs> I'm going to bake some brownie and I had an idea to put a cream on the top, which I'll share with you once this is baked. Heading out to grab some edible flowers to decorate that chocolate cake or slices, how should I call it? Well, that garden visit turned into a 45 minutes of outing. <laughs> While I'm waiting for the brownie to get cold, I'm going to get back to the folding. To wash everything, I like to use 
the chalice soap detergent I've been using over 15 years. I only need one tablespoon per load and it is non-toxic and I'm very satisfied with that. I don't use any fabric softener since it just clogs up the pores of the clothes and it just ruins them and it's bad for the lungs as well. For the white one I like to use additionally some OxyClean using the pre-soak option on my washing machine that will help to keep the white load bright sometimes especially on cheap clothes they use a blue agent that makes it look a little bit brighter and that disappears after the first wash so linen and better quality material will hold up better and stays brighter I like to hang as much as possible so it's less work to fold away but folding is the most efficient way to store things and if I don't want to have wrinkles I can just roll things up. Rolling is a little bit more work than folding so I only use this method to my kitchen towels because I have a tiny shelf where I like to store them so I have to consider the space I have. The brownie is cold so I'm going to start to prepare the cream to the top and I have this macadamia nut butter so you can use any other cream almond cream or peanut butter whatever you wish I use the macadamia nut and I added some almond flavor and then maple syrup and a little bit of a cashew yogurt and I'm going to just put this on the top of the brownie and then place it in the refrigerator <laughs> I changed my mind. I think the strawberry will complement better this sweet. Each week we have more dropping in the temperature so I'm putting away all the lost pieces that were resembling the summery weather <laughs> and I will just set it aside for next year and I'm doing the same thing with Joat's clothes I'm just swapping out the summer to the winter and fall clothes As I'm getting hungry and I was constantly thinking about that cream top on the brownie <laughs> that led me to my next clue what to make and I'm going to make some I think it's called a spring roll and I'm going to have some perilla leaves in there some shrimp and then of course the noodles and then I'm going to prepare the peanut butter dip For the peanut butter dip, I'm going to use some peanut butter, some cashew yogurt, cayenne pepper. Well, that turned out to be a little bit too much. <laughs> and a little bit of a maple syrup and coconut aminos. It's time to try the brownie! To 
fold the fitted sheet I just like to match the corners and then just line it up all the way the edges and then pick two of the corners and then just lay it flat once I smooth it out as much as possible then I start to fold the sides so it really depends on how small or big you want to fold it but this is the size that works out for my drawer golden, golden I pulled out the thicker clothing for Jot as well and I'm just hanging them. When I organize the clothes, I have a system for that. I like to keep the lighter ones on one side and as we going to the other side, I have the thicker and then even warmer clothing. So that way it's just easier for our brain to choose in the morning. Here's an easy way to store the bat if you don't want to hang it. I'm folding away all the summer shirts. When I'm putting away the other season clothing, it's going into the lower drawer. So instead of being on the top drawer where it's easy to reach, I switched and all the summer ones going on the bottom. So all of the clothes for the four seasons, we have it in this closet and it's just the way it's organized. It's just whatever it makes sense for the given season. Well, if you didn't miss my videos, you have seen me fighting with the wasps. <laughs> but this was a close call. Here's another sweet that we really enjoy. It's got everything. It's gooey and crunchy. It's sweet but not too sweet. So I have these rice cakes and I just added some peanut butter, cashew yogurt and maple syrup. And I just put this on the top. Put it into the freezer while I warmed up the chocolate. And as I was warming up the chocolate, I added a few pieces of bee wax there just to make it more shiny. Once the chocolate is on the top, I will put it back into the refrigerator for a few minutes. Wow. Mm. 
I'm so anxiously waiting for my studio to be done so I don't have to do the mess in the bedroom <laughs> but now let's move on to the kitchen so I'm going to wash the eggs and I like to use salt for that I'm just going to soak them and here's this basket it's been sitting there for two days <laughs> it's uh, it's time to process all those vegetables from my garden so all the hot peppers I will just chop them up and freeze them The tomatoes that are green gonna go into my windowsill so they can ripen. Last year I made some pickles out of them and you can also fry them. Sometimes when I wanna prepare a quick thank you gift to someone I like to give some eggs from the girls and this is a very fun way to dress up this little gift I bought some boxes off of Amazon and this personalized stamp as well and it just looks more cute that way so I'm not going to stamp all of the eggs for to myself I just only do this when I'm gifting this to somebody The perilla leaf is holding up really nicely in my garden, especially after all those lots of rain. Do you remember that basket with the set vegetables from my garden? <laughs> I had some green chard and while it was in the basket, it started to get really saggy. And I soaked them in some water and it actually made a perfect setup for this next dish that I want to prepare. It's a roll. I used some hummus and some ham and some cucumber. But really you can just put any kind of vegetables that you like in there. And it was the perfect texture for that roll. It was very easy to roll up all the vegetables in there. It must be a noise from the neighbor who's building the house. Yeah, that must be it. It's coming closer. The noise is coming closer. It sounds like it's coming into the house. Ah, oh, okay. That was just Joad. He stopped to pick up some stuff <laughs> for his work. To make the ribs a little bit easier on the stomach and it's just falling off of the bone I like to cook them first in some bay leaf garlic water mixture and then once they are cooked for about an hour or two on a slow uh, fire I'm going to put them into the oven and this time I'm not going to put any barbecue sauce on it because I'm gonna do it the Hungarian way where we just put some salt and garlic on it and meanwhile, I'm going to clean out the vacuum cleaner so I can use it. <laughs>
In Hungary, where I grew up, soup and stews are very common to eat every day. So this is gonna be one of them. Well, this is the gluten and, and dairy free version of it. It's gonna be a green bean stew and very simple and easy to make it. I add some water, some bone broth powder, and then pickle juice, salt, and I'm just going to cook it until it's soft and add cornstarch on the end. I bought a few plants from Home Depot a couple of weeks ago and I noticed that the top soil is missing so I just adding a little bit and then checking for the other plants as well if they need some. Cooking the potatoes for the dinner and finishing up the green bean stew. If I say that I'm patiently waiting for, for my studio, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> I'm trying to be patient though, I'm trying. <laughs> so I'm gathering all the boxes and organizing them on the shelf that will go out to the studio. So this is where I'm going to store that. I was able to find some bubble wrap that is made from paper, so I'm very excited about that. I don't like to have the work space in my bedroom, but oh well, until the studio is done, that will work. So I'm going to start to work on put together the boxes for the products that will be coming very soon. Recall when we were young, running from our things at once, without thinking twice. And I knew we would catch up, and that we would be the ones left behind. The stories I've been told, they never seem to. I also finished up uh, one of the decor that I want to use in the studio and this is a good way to pass the time while I'm waiting um, for the studio to be built that I'm just gathering all my favorite items there and just packing up while I can. <laughs> This was a very fun project. Um, in some aspect, it's easy in a way of it just only needs circles. But on the other hand, it was kind of hard to put it together to balance the whole thing. <laughs> so it was kind of like a mixed emotions as I was putting it together, but the result was really nice.
I used to create products for the scan fair and now I have to get back to the flow of creating. It's too early, it's too dark, and it's too cold. <laughs> I've been working on to figure out the, an easier way to packaging things and make it more pretty and just the whole system how I can make it more efficient. And if you ordered these pictures, I want to say a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you enjoy seeing me packing this <laughs> and you will enjoy to receive them. Once I organize the studio, I know it will be a lot easier once I have a system for every task. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end and if you like this content don't forget to like share and subscribe with your friends and family and i will see you soon in the next one bye